I've had to deal with a priest who I'm pretty close to who was accused of sexual... Is this confidential in here? Completely? Yes. Our chaplain was accused via um, uh, the online form of a person posing as a 16-year-old girl uh, said he sexually assaulted her in the confessional. Yeah. Um, Holy crap. Through the a, through, I'm sorry, through the AGs? No, through the, uh, through the diocesan okay. assistance thing, and then okay. a subsequent email to the bishop himself. So okay. when I get a call, well, what do I do? That triggers certain duties that I have to do, whether right. it's true or not. And I have to remove him mm -hmm. right away. Sure. So that was what, what we did. Subsequent investigations is a hoax, it's a malicious email, whatever else. But his reputation is destroyed. If, if, I, if I breathed a word of it to anyone else, um, even the very allegation of it causes people in the building potentially to raise the eyebrows. Maybe, is that true? Is it completely made up? Found out who did it. AG was involved. A diocesan IT was involved. RIT was involved. It was like a Catholic NCIS episode, but it occupied me for two and a half months. Yeah. And um, that would destroy a priest who has been a faithful, a faithful priest for 45 years. It would destroy him, well, even I, just the mere assertion of it. So, I mean, that is the world in which we live. If someone wants to destroy the church, they can wipe out every single one of these priests. Yeah, but I mean, that's, those situations that's are very rare, though. Um, I don't know. Crazy they, they are. Heard about her. They're exceptionally it's rare. rare. Yeah, so it's, I, I, I know that. That alleviate think, us in the burden of making sure that we right, get yeah, to right. and that tenable, I don't think we know. Well, we really. don't know, which is which is like you can't. Yeah. I mean, you can't spend you time looking into it. Really, yeah, and I, you shouldn't I, be doing that. Um, but, yeah. but, but that, I mean, even just the very, um, I, it's so sen. I mean, all of these things are so sensitive, you know, and and uh, and it's just super dangerous. I think just the whole thing. I, I'm not suggesting not have the Daniel Coalition at all. I'm just saying there are certain distinctions that should be made, nuances that should be appreciated. Um, An appreciation the, of the limitations of what we can and should be doing yeah, as well. Exactly. We're not going to solve every problem. Yeah, and, um, and certain Catholic media outlets uh, come at it with a battering ram not knowing some of these things and the, the difficulties yeah. of them. We can't have the right to due process. Yes, Everybody yes, has it, the right to the presumption what, of innocence. What do you mean by the process. Process media? What do you mean? Well, Church that? Militant will come out and say it. I think they absolutely... You mean by allowing a survivor to report their story? Is that no, what you no, mean? no. I'm talking about assert, making, drawing conclusions as to uh, people in positions of authority, whether they did or did not do the right thing in certain instances. Huh. I'm thinking of myself in okay. particular. Um, okay. So, um, you know, the Father Pat Egan issue. I mean, the, the way it reads, it's as if he is OJ lurking right. outside of Nicole's house with a knife ready to pounce. The guy can barely get out of his bed. Um, and, you know, when, when there's actionable intelligence, as the head of a school who have 500 kids under my care, I will take action. But I can't just, on the mere bald assertion, especially knowing that I already did my due diligence morally and legally on all these issues. I can't, I can't, you know, just every time I hear something or that issue a statement. Right. So that's the, that's the distinctions I think are not appreciated to in some careful. of the, yeah, in, in some of the Catholic media, I think. Um, and, and, and because yeah, I think they're just drawing conclusions that aren't Which I think accurate, is an important you know? distinction because a body like the Daniel Coalition or any other right. agency is not going to be an investigative body. Right. Right. Well, well, yeah, it's going to be demanding administrative transparency and administrative, you know, prudence. Right. Well, yeah, tra yeah, transparency. But I mean, the the primary support has to be focused on survivors because that's the bigger problem here. I mean, the problem of people being falsely accused is extraordinarily small. So you have to kind of err on the side of what is the bigger problem here. I you think we have, don't really know. I mean, I, that, not to take away at all. Yeah. But we yeah. don't have any idea how many people have been falsely accused. As I said, you wouldn't have known about this one if it hadn't been revealed. That's not to take away from the need to focus on the victim. But I just don't think we have data to know.